Now, if you clicked on this video, you might be thinking 30 retakes is kind of insane, but this video is going to be posted on my channel forever, so you can always revisit it whenever you need to learn a new retake. Now, every retake varies in complexity, so whether you're a beginner or a pro, there's definitely something for you. Okay, I'm gonna give an explanation on how to do each retake, but I'm also gonna try to keep it around 10 seconds for time's sake, but also so you guys can skip it once and watch the next retake if you don't need the explanation. So I grouped these first couple side jumps together because they're basically the same thing, but the main thing you guys wanna focus on is being able to get this motion down where you edit your tile, place the wall, and you don't place it in front of you here, and then making sure that you're not too far down or too far up on your ramp. You kinda just wanna jump from this middle point here, that way you're able to land on the stair. Okay, this side jump is slightly different than the previous two because instead of jumping straight across and out from your build, it's more of a diagonal motion. So you kind of want to focus on jumping forward. That way you can actually land underneath your ramp here and then do the rest of your retake. Now these moves made the list because they're pretty useful in game when you're boxed up and you want to quickly go up on high ground to catch your opponent off guard. Now I know we're starting off with a lot of side jumps but just bear with me. When you do this first taxman side jump you want to focus on going more diagonally and then this next side jump you can go straight out. Here you want to make sure that when you side jump, you land far enough back so that way you're on top of this ramp. And then you want to back up and turn your character this way so you can land on a ramp like this. And then do the rest of your 90s from here. The added stair ensures that you're not going to get shot or pumped from high ground. But in order to land under it successfully, you're going to want to tax sprint from the middle of this stair again and go straight out. These scissor ramps are a nice addition to the end of your retakes, but when you're doing them, you want to make sure that you're landing on the edge of your ramp, that way you can continuously jump. This is a super important part of most retakes, so I strongly advise you guys to learn this if you haven't already, but essentially all it is is two ramps, a floor that you edit through, a wall that you place, and then a cone that you place above you in order to connect this and just do the same motion all over again. This move is great for putting space between you and your opponent. Just make sure that when you're here, you don't accidentally edit these two tiles because then it's going to break your stair. This move is obviously great because it blocks all angles, but one thing you guys really need to pay attention to is that after you do your scissor ramp, you want to start your walls from the left side and go right because it's easier to place walls looking left than it is right. Okay, this move was even a little tricky for me the first time I learned it, but essentially all it is is getting to the left side of this ramp right here, and then once you're about midway is looking back, placing walls in a cone, then jumping, placing the floor and then the stair, editing through, and then it's just a simple side jump from earlier. I also want to briefly mention that just because you guys see me doing a move from let's say the left side of a ramp doesn't mean that you can't do it from the right side or just the reverse way like I'm doing here. The most difficult thing here is the ramp flip, so when you do it you want to make sure that you grab the edit from up top right here and then have this nice fluid motion down to it and flip it to the right. Similarly to the last one, we're going to be doing this ramp flip as well, except this time we're going to do a full 180 degrees turn. And I like to edit it like this, going straight back, because that puts my crosshair in a better position to edit through this way and do the rest of the retake.
For this retake, once you edit the stair, you almost want to run to the right a little bit, just so that way when you edit through this cone, you have an easier time editing this wall. This is a move for those of you who are looking for something a bit fancier, and essentially all it is is editing this cone and catching it with this floor, and then once you edit through, you're going to have to re-edit this cone and place a wall immediately after so it doesn't break, and then you can just get into the side jump from there. Now this first part you guys already saw, however this time instead of landing looking this way on the side jump, you want to land looking this way and immediately place a floor cone above your head, and then you have to double edit through and flip that cone. This is probably one of the more difficult ones, so you want to make sure that when you get to this point, you extend these stairs like this, and you do the same with the floors. You don't want to be too close to this wall, or you're not going to be able to get that floor out. These protected edit ups are so so good in a lot of retakes, but you do want to make sure that when you do this, you flip the cone in one solid motion and you're not trying to reset the cone and then re-edit it every single time. This is a pretty flashy move that isn't all that hard to do. The only thing you really have to make sure of is that when you edit through this wall here, that you're high enough up on this ramp in order to actually jump through because if you're too low, you're not going to be able to make it over. Another flashy move, except this time, instead of worrying about being too close, you actually don't want to be too far, because if you're too far, you're not going to be able to edit this cone. So you have to edit it from somewhere around here on your ramp. This is a personal favorite of mine, and the goal with this is to actually get the person inside this box here. So you want to make sure that you have all the pieces, and when you jump up, you can either reset this cone, or you can go out and try to get a better angle. This is a great mad efficient way to go up, especially if you're in game and your opponent's just sitting above you. You can use a couple of these to close that gap and then go into the rest of the retake. This move is pretty self explanatory and it's great for trying to catch your opponent by surprise and get that sneaky pump shot. Now you may be wondering why on earth I just showed that exact same move twice, but it's actually slightly different because this time you're going to put two walls up and then get into that same mantle motion. But the difference is this wall is going to be here because you're not going to be going for a pump shot if you do this move. You want to either have this wall to be able to piece your opponent or just block a shot if they're on the same level from you and then you can get into the rest of that high ground retake on them. This mechanic has been in the game for quite some time now and it still catches people by surprise. You just have to make sure that when you do it you're pretty close to your opponent and not far away or else you're just going to get sprayed out. So this move I actually see Reed do a lot of, and that's because these high walls are super good, but then also placing the floor instead of a cone allows you to just edit through and keep doing these high wall 90s, whereas a cone you would have to edit it and then re-edit it and then do the high walls, which is just a much more complex motion. This one's pretty self-explanatory and it works a lot better on controller because you get this fluid motion when you are spinning around like that. Now this wouldn't be a high ground retake video without some 90s, so I showed you guys how to use tax sprint in both of those 90s, with the first way being just infinite 90s by short bursts like this, and the second way being tax sprinting onto a ramp and then getting into your 90s.
That last one I just wanted to have fun with, so if any of you guys can recreate that, I'll follow you back on Twitter. That's it, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!